In this video, we're going to go over the next steps of creating a table in SQL. So for step five, we're going to identify the primary key foreign key pairs. So if we look at the relational model that is depicted here, we see that customer ID in the order table references the customer ID in the customer table. So I don't need to change anything with the customer table, but in the order table, I need to add a comma after the last row, the customer ID row here. And then I'm going to add a new row that says constraint and then the name of the constraint. So I typically just use the name of the table underscore foreign key if I have more than one foreign key, I'll say foreign key one, foreign key two, and so on. In databases, each constraint name can only be used once, otherwise it will throw an error. Then I'm going to specify the type of the constraint, so this is going to be a foreign key constraint. It is going to use the custom ID in the order table, so it's going to use this custom ID to reference the custom ID in the customer table. So it's going to reference the custom ID here in the customer table. Before you can create any table with a foreign key constraint, that table that it references must already be created. Additionally, with step five relational integrity controls, we can specify on delete, on update, and then we can specify what happens, either restrict cascade, set null, set default, or no action. So basically what happens, if I delete or update a value that is referenced by a foreign key column, what's going to happen? So restrict no action is default. This basically means that if I were to delete a customer, it would fail because it's linked to some orders in the order table. Cascade, if I were to delete a customer, it would delete all the orders that are associated with that customer. Set null, if I were to delete a customer, it would set the foreign key values to null if that is possible in the table that referenced it. Now if a foreign key column cannot be null then this would fail just like the restrict no action. And then in set default which does not work in MySQL would allow you to set the values that were pointing to the customer that was deleted to a different value. So it would look like this. We continue with our constraint line. There is no comma here. We just add on delete cascade, on update cascade if we wanted to cascade those results. For step six, we would want to determine any default values. So if there were any values that I would want to provide if the user didn't provide a value and it wasn't an auto incrementing column, I could do so by using the keyword default. So for example, order date here, I may want to have a default value of now, meaning the date and time of right now. So I can just say default now, and if I were to insert a new order without providing an order date, it would use the current date and time. So now what I want you to do is continue with those SQL queries that you started writing and identify the primary key and foreign key pairs and then determine any default values. So try this on your own, pause this video and then come back to compare your answer. All right, welcome back. So for our primary key foreign key pairs, we don't have anything in employee or course, but certificate references both employee and course. So I'm going to go ahead and add two new constraints. The first constraint I will name certificate foreign key one. And the type of constraint that this is, is a foreign key. And the column of the foreign key is going to be employee ID. And this employee ID is going to reference the employee table, specifically the employee ID in the employee table. And then I may want to cascade my deletes and my updates. Let's go ahead and slide this over so you can see that this is all in one line. I'll go ahead and copy this and paste it, get rid of that extra comma, and this is now going to be my second foreign key, and this is going to use the course ID to reference the course table and the course ID in the course table. The next step is to identify any default values. So looking here, do we see anything that could have a default value? Sure, completed. So let's go ahead and use the default of now as well. 